good pig is a dead pig. You can't let him take you away. You wait for the screaming to die down, boy. Then you get out of here. Go on and do your daddy proud. You want me, pigs? Well, here I am. Hey, you guys. Q here, and welcome to Wild Eye Week, day six. One more day left of this awesome week, and uh, guys, as you can tell from the title and from the picture here on the screen, I'm going with Bone Jangles from 2017. And what a hell of a film, guys. I absolutely love this one. Um, the more I watch it, the more I love it, and... Uh, Apparently, there's supposed to be a part two coming. I'm not too sure about that, but uh, that'd be awesome. So either way, uh, the director is Brett de Jager, or Jager, and I do apologize for butchering his name, and uh, I do kind of apologize for any more names I do butcher because I'm not that great with pronunciations. So either way, guys, uh, starting off here, we have the awesome Reggie Bannister, yes, Reggie Bannister from the Phantasm franchise. Uh, he makes little appearances in this, and uh, I love anything that he's in. I'm a Reggie Bannister fan, and uh, he plays Edgar Sr. Uh, it's kind of cool because he has his own little background story, and he's not even in it much, which is pretty cool. Uh, Elisa uh, Dowling plays Erowina. <laughs> Like I said, I do apologize for butchering names here. Uh, Julia Kavanaugh plays Sally, and Devin Toff plays Clint. I actually like uh, Clint's character. <laughs> it's pretty, uh, he plays a pretty funny hick type thing, and uh, I just, I think he does a great job. Uh, Wade Everett plays the janitor. Uh, Kelly Missick Jr. plays Doug. Alan, uh, Regimbal plays Toby, Lawrence Wayne Curry plays Juan, and I gotta say, uh, I really love Juan's character. Uh, comic relief all the way, and uh, he does a great, great job. Every time he's on this uh, screen, he makes me laugh, so I think he did a great job there. Uh, and Katie Wellagrave plays Jamie. Uh, the music score was pretty decent. Uh, it helped the movie along. It, it didn't hurt the movie at all, but it wasn't fantastic. Uh, the overview here, guys, is fantastic. Um, while transporting the legendary serial killer Bone Jangles to an asylum, and the asylum's name, Smith's Grove Sanitarium. <laughs> They're going to stick him in with, with Michael Myers. Uh, police officers break down in a town cursed with the demons and zombies. And the town's name, guys, is Argento. <laughs> so, for us horror fans who know who Argento is, it's just hilarious. Demons and zombies, you know? Uh, the only way they can survive the night is to release Bone Jangles to help them. And I thought that kind of idea was pretty neat. Uh, to get the spiritual, uh, hard-to-kill, serial killer type thing... Uh, to actually be on your side to take out some zombies and demons and whatnot. It was just a great time. Uh, my uh, Dislikes for this one? Absolutely none, guys. If there is any, I easily overlooked it. Uh, just enjoyed myself. Every time I watch this, uh, it's just a good time. Um, the likes for this? The characters in this are absolutely awesome. Um, the two cops, Bone Jangles... Um, one, the actual other police officer that they just get uh, into their force before they go and transport Bone Jangles. Uh, these are characters that stuck with me throughout the film and just great all around. Um, the look of Bone Jangles was absolutely awesome. I love the way Bone Jangles looks, his mask and everything, the way his suit carries. It's just great. And the kills were actually pretty decent. Um... <laughs> the Smith's Grove Sanitarium, I think, is awesome to have in there. And the town of Argento, I just think, is absolutely cool. And uh, I just 
the whole story to me is a fun story and all in all a great time to watch guys so I do recommend this film if you guys have never seen it before if you like comedy horrors you're gonna love this film uh, it's a great one and um, in my opinion anyways so that's going to be the end of this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Brad from Bronco Juggalo Talks Movies for coming up with this Wild Eye Week. I absolutely been having a blast uh, rewatching these films. It's just a great time for me, and uh, glad to do participating in this week. And um, yeah, guys, if you're not familiar with Brad from Bronco Juggalo Talks Movies, I will have his link down below in the description. Go over to his channel, hit that sub button, and share the love. I'd like to also give a shout out to Wild Eye Releasing for coming out with uh, releasing uh, awesome films such as Bone Jangles. Um, so far, everything that I've been uh, reviewing is just, I've been having a blast with. And uh, I got to thank Wild Eye for helping release all these awesome films, and they're great. So check down below in the description, and you will see the YouTube channel for Wild Eye, which has bunch of trailers and uh, I'll also leave their website down below so you guys can go over and maybe order a movie or two. So either way guys uh, make sure to check out everyone else doing Wild Eye Week. They're picking some awesome titles and doing even awesomer reviews and um, I just I've been enjoying everything I've been seeing so kudos to everyone doing this and uh Thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and I hope you guys enjoy the trailer. Y'all take care, ciao. This is Eddie. Their orders were simple. Transport an unstoppable killing machine to a maximum security asylum. But on this very night, in this small town, an ancient evil is about to be unleashed. For as long as anyone can remember, the town of Argento has been cursed. Now, the only way to survive is to fight the curse with something worse. Make your daddy proud. This year, terror has a new face. Horror has a new name. And the last sound you'll hear is the rattle of his bones. Bone jangles.